Hello, my beautiful friends. I'm um, with a general reading for the sign of Libra. Um, I just wanted to welcome everyone to this space. It is wonderful to have you here, and I'm so excited to be here as well. Um, I am going to do something different today. I am going to um, look at three different areas of life for this group of Libra people. I am going to look at money and resources. I am going to look at health and well-being, and also look at love and family. So um, we're looking at love in general, and then we'll dig deeper. It could pertain to family, your friends, or even um, a romance that you could um, be experiencing. So um, that is what the general reading is going to have. I'll be going into the extended. In the extended, we'll look at the people who are around you, and then we'll take these three areas one more step farther um, and see if we can get any more information about what might be coming down the pipe um, for these different um, areas of life. Now, please remember, this is a general reading. I am looking at general energies um, from a group of Libra people. So not everything here may resonate with you. In fact, it may not fit for you. Um, not everyone is going through the same experience. As we know, there have been many changes now in the world, in the world um, very close to us, in the world around us, in the world um, as in planet Earth. There are a lot of changes going on. So um, not everyone is experiencing um, what is happening in the same way. Um, but my friends, I just got done doing another reading, my first reading of the series um, for this week. I'm starting a new series of 12 now. And um, that reading, um, I, I just felt that the energies were talking about what's happening now in this day and age, in this time um, where we're all taking a pause um, at, to really take in what's happening around us in a new and different way. And um, I think what I'm going to do is just embrace this now and see if we can bring forward information that could help um, each sign. So we are looking into Libras now. We realize that you could be here um, because you have a, your sun is in Libra or your moon is in Libra or your rising sign is Libra or your Venus is Libra. And we know that each one of these um, placements um, means something different um, as far as emotions or how, how um, you present yourself to the world. Um, what your love language is. So um, please understand that this will not resonate for everyone. And please do not make um, life decisions based off a of general reading um, or um, uh, even a personal reading for that matter, because we are looking, especially when we're looking into money. And if I go into the energy of money, um, it does um, place additional responsibility on me as a reader. And um, and that, and, and then I will also pass that forward to you, um, additional responsibility on you as a viewer to um, take these energies and this information as general guidance. And, and please understand not to make decisions based off of it, but just use it as, as one of the resources that you can contemplate as you move forward. All right. That said, let's get into the fun of this. Let's get into this reading. Um, I'm excited to do it. It's fun to do something new. And we all need a little excitement now, a little bit of a distraction. So let's go ahead and dig right into this, Libra. Okay. So, um, I am going to look at, um, the next immediate future for money and resources for this group of Libra people. Now each, you know, it's not, I don't think, and maybe it's going to fit for you in all three. If that does, then that would be wonderful. And we, um, will ask spirit to do that if, if, if it can. Um, if the energy of spirit can do that, then we ask for that. Um, but maybe you will only fit into one of these areas, or maybe you will fit into two, or maybe you will find um, helpful information in all three, but maybe they won't all resonate with you, just that some of the information inside will. So um, just, I know this introduction is longer than I normally make. It's just that I'm doing something different, and I do feel... Um, as a reader, there there is responsibility to reading, and I just I just want to be careful as we move forward, especially since I'm talking about money. Um, I, I would hope that um, you remember um, the powerful compass of guidance that you have within you, um, the spiritual team and the personal team that you have around you that can help guide you as well. So, um, all right, I'm done with, I'll get off the soapbox now, my friends. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, Libra, let's look, um, let's start with money and resources. I know that is um, a, um, a focus for, for very uh, many of us. So let's go ahead and look at money and resource. And I'm going to pull four cards for money and resources for the next immediate future. I would say this is maybe in the next couple of weeks, the next few weeks here. Maybe even the month ahead. We'll have to see. It's going to be different for everyone, you know. Because, again, you know, if we're looking at, um, if you're in Asia, you might already be in this situation for some time. 
um, here in the United States, we're just starting, um, unfortunately, maybe, um, but we're just starting. Um, Italy has been going through this now for um, a couple of weeks. Um, so we're all in different stages of this. So let's just be a little bit flexible on time. I have to tell myself that too, um, to be flexible on time as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Four energies, four cards for money and resources now. Four cards for money and resources. Four cards for money and resources. I can tell there's energy around this because these, you notice this deck is um, quite active here. Okay, so let's begin here. We have the Fool Energy next to the Four of Cups, next to the Ten of Swords in reverse, next to the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. So we have three upright energies, and we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Now, just before I sink down into these cards, I just want to say that whenever we have the Ten of Swords in reverse, that's a really good sign. It's a sign of coming out of a period of trauma, coming out of a period of even disbelief, um, coming out of a period of, of having a lot of confusion and anxiety. The source energy um, is, is energy that can affect how we think and what we believe and how we comprehend and how we put everything together to, to make sense of the world around us. And, and the Ten of Swords talks about um, fear and anxiety and, and pain um, and turmoil within us. So the fact that the Ten of Swords is in reverse is a really good sign as we move forward. I think that there's going to be... Um, um, some of the pain of this is, is going to be falling out of us or it's going to be dissipating as we move forward into the future. But before I get ahead of myself, let's go ahead and start with a full energy. The full energy is, is, um, stepping forward now, um, as this full energy is stepping forward now into something that, um, this group of Libra people have not experienced before. And I could say that, um, for all of you that are here, that, um, it is, it is plausible and it is, likely that you have not experienced anything like this before um, as far as how money and resources can be affected um, within a world situation, within a community, and within one's own pocketbook. Something that could come into an existence, into existence around us or within us that um, could certainly um, not have been foreseen, or if it was foreseen, it was not um considered to be anything that could come into into the into the psyche although we talk about um, disasters and we talk about different things happening um, it's it's actually hard to think that it would actually happen it's it, this is how um, we can often feel um, with um, warnings and foretellings of things to come that we know that we can be warned of something, but to have it actually happen is, is, is a whole completely different experience. So, um, with the full energy, this is stepping into the, into the territory of the unknown. And, and with the full energy, there are some complicated uh, feelings that come with a fool. For one thing, um, there is nervousness here and anxiety, um, with, with the fool. So let's get into the, the more denser energies. There can be nervousness, there can be anxiety, there could be um, realizations that um, we may not be in control in our lives as much as we think we're in control. So then we realize that um, we have to trust, we have to trust um, the energies that are around us, the um, energetic beings that are around us, our, our spiritual teams, our guidance systems, the religion that we believe in. Um, sometimes when we're the fool, we go down to the roots of who we are. Um, when we're doing something new, we really have to dig deep into the self and, and um, remind ourselves 
Um, what are our core strengths? What are our core talents? And really engage with those. So with the full energy, I, I think I see this group of Libra people really digging deep into who who you are um, as you step into this new frontier, into this new reality. Um, even if it's a short-term reality, it is a reality nonetheless. Uh, also with the full energy, there is a sense of... Um, excitement. There's a sense of enthusiasm. There's a sense of, I wonder what's going to happen. This is such an interesting time. It's, it's such an interesting time for those of us who have been in the grocery store and have been lucky enough throughout our lives to have food on the shelves. Um, all of a sudden we walk through a grocery store and we um, search for something to purchase that's healthy. And this could be something that, um, although it could make us nervous and it could really... Um, be something that ultimately we'll never forget. It's also something that we can say, look at what I'm experiencing. What I'm experiencing is, is something that is um, creating explosions within my mind. And I don't really know how to comprehend it, um, but I am going to take it in. Um, so that is a, the full energy as well, stepping into the unknown um, where it could even be traumatic, but at the same time, exciting. And these are very interesting um, emotions and energies to, to circle around within us. Um, I'm almost, I'm almost being, um, I am being re reminded that maybe this is how a warrior feels. Maybe this is how a soldier feels when he or she goes to battle. I, that's not ever, anything that I have ever done in my life on a battlefield that is full of guns and, and violence. I have done it in my life. We've all been on battlefields in our life. Um, but maybe this is how a, a traditional soldier feels when they engage in warfare. Um, this kind of a feeling here with the fool. So I think that um, this is this group of Libra people are doing something perhaps um, that they've never done. It's something that came a, they they came across um, this situation. Um, it, it maybe even th that it hasn't been planned. And sometimes things in life, um, whether it's a virus or whether it's just something that happens in life, sometimes things happen that aren't planned. Sometimes things come from the universe, come from behind our back that. Um, that happen to us, whether they're good or whether they're challenging or whether they cause us to, to really um, reflect on our lives and change something about our lives. The full energy doesn't always have to be about a new job or a new relationship. It can be just about a new complete experience that we have to go through and, and learn how to put one step in front of the other. Next to the full energy, we have the four of cups energy, and that's an energy of I'm really looking at the situation and wondering, okay, what scenario is the right one here? The, we do have four cups here. Um, this, this picture does sometimes uh, remind us that there can be surprises in life. And maybe this talks about planning and how we can be planning and how we can be thinking about this and that. And we can have all of our ducks in a row. We can, we can have everything ready. We can have vacation scheduled. Um, we can be, you know, planning our life as, as we see fit with these cups. And it might even be a little boring. Um, it might be that we've kind of settled into a routine and, uh, there could be just, uh, moving forward as a status quo. And then all of a sudden, here comes this fourth cup from the, from behind. And um, it could really um, cause some ripples in this water here. Um, when this fourth cup is put into this water, I wonder what this water does. If it ripples out around or if it just smoothly goes into the water. And I think within each and every one of our lives, this water will look different. Um, for some people, um, they might be living from, from um, month to month. They might not have a whole lot of resources and this extra cut, cup comes in. Why would we call it a cup? Because it is an, an experience. It is the way we feel. It is something that is a part of our lives. And um, it's interesting that this cup is full. Well, it's full, all right. It's full of all kinds of emotions, right? Not everything about this cup has to be pure love, um, but it does come with emotions and it does stir us and it does create um the beating of our heart um, to be louder so that we can hear who our heart is again, right? It wakes us up in, in a way um, to, to bring in, uh, bring us closer to who we are. So when this cup comes in, it'll be interesting for this group of people to see how many ripples 
um, it makes in the water as it lands um, here in the in the forefront here. But I do feel like you will probably be, be looking inside this cup and wondering, okay, now what am I going to do with this situation? We do um, need to be reminded now, and I need to be reminded um, that each and every one of us will experience this cup a different way. And while some of us um, would be thinking about conspiracies and others of us will be thinking from the viewpoint of medical um, medical uh, personnel, others of us would be thinking from the point of, of being unemployed, um, that we all have a, our own individual experience and for us to remember that, um, to be, to be um, cognizant, to be aware that our experience is not the only experience that's happening around us and for us to understand that while we could be fascinated with um, a conspiracy here or thinking of a reason there or having some of our own realizations, I have my thoughts about this and I'm sure all of you have your own thoughts, that there could be someone down the road or within your own household or it could be you who has been traumatized who now has to figure out what am I going to do with my children, what am I going to do with my how do I pay my mortgage? And there could be someone who is in real trouble. So um, this cup could come in and really create some ripples for people. Um, and it's important to realize that there could be some real rippling of the water around you, even if it's not your water. Um, and maybe there's something that, uh, that um, we can all do to help each other um, as that comes to us as that pertains to us. Uh, we do have the 10 of swords and I've already talked about the 10 of swords here um, and so I think that if if there there are people here that are experiencing um, financial difficulty here with their with their resources and money that there will be um, a a um, dissipation of that now I don't know if all of these swords are going to fall out at the same time but these swords will gradually begin to fall out so it does seem like there is going to be a, a lessening of the pain lessening of the anxiety lessening of the worry as we move forward and now we also have the ace of Pentacles here. So this talks about um, a new improvement in finances here. So with the Ace of Pentacles, this talks about a new improved reality. So sometimes um, we really have to kind of take our mindset and reset our mindset here. It looks like there is a resetting of a mindset and there, then there is an improvement coming in. So I really like and, and I am grateful for this Ace of Pentacles that shows up in this reading. This says that there is an improvement in reality um, for this group of, of people. And I, I feel um, that this is probably something that affects all Libra people that are here. This probably has some resonance here. And I feel um, comfortable now in saying that um, I have experienced Ace of Pentacles um, and that I, I do have a lot of, um, I, I feel a lot of comfort with the Ace of Pentacles because it is talking about a new reality. If this was an Ace of Wands or an Ace of Swords um, or even an Ace of Cups, um, I, I just feel that it's not as stable and not as secure as the Ace of Pentacles. So I do feel like this was a real gift and a real message coming through for everyone, a sign of hope, a sign of um, a, a reminder for all of us to continue to be strong, that there is a better day ahead as far as finances and resources, because Spirit could have given us any of the Aces, Spirit could have given us any of the cards, or 78 cards in this deck, and what came out as the last card is the Ace of Pentacles, and this is a sign that we are not alone, um, from my perspective, that we are not alone, that our spiritual teams and our religious systems and, and what we connect into no matter what religion we believe in, no matter where we are in the world, that this is an Ace of Pentacles that's coming in to remind us that there is a better day ahead. Um, uh, and just a reminder that this is a general energy and each of us are moving at a different speed and going through different situations. So um, really apply this um, to your situation as it would realistically fit for you. Um, so be realistic with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, and, and be careful with finances now. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, it does talk about worry and anxiety. And if there is worry and anxiety with finances and with resources, um, this is a time to protect that, to protect those, to be careful with those, as you well know. Um, but that there is an Ace, of an Ace of Pentacles here, which is an improvement in a reality. It's not an idea. It's not a new action. It's not new love. It is new improvement of finances and resources, exactly what we asked about. So I think this is a very inspiring energy that's coming forward for Libra. And um, I, I am just um, grateful 
that it is um, being brought forward for for all of for all of you and really all of all of everyone um, that that's here and listening to this reading. So let's go ahead now and move into health and well-being and see what we can get as far as health and well-being. Looking at health and well-being now for this group of Libra people, health and well-being. Health and well being now. All right, so we're changing our focus now onto health and well being, um, our own physical health, our emotional health, the health of our communities the health of our countries, um, health and well-being, how we are as human beings and um, our, our um, um, health as we move forward now in the, next, um, in the next two or three weeks or even the month ahead. So um, we have the Six of Pentacles here next to the Three of Swords, next to the Three of Wands and the Magician. So um, first of all, we have three, two threes here and we have a six. So um, th that's interesting here that we have these threes. We also have a magician, which is a energy of making things happen, stepping forward and making things happen, getting things done, uh, maybe doing something that you haven't done before, or there's an energy uh, around us uh, of doing something that hasn't been done before. So it's an invention type of energy. Let's start with the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is an energy um, of equality, of equal give and take. Um, it is an energy of having enough resources to go around. Um, it's not that we have unlimited resources, but we have enough to go around. And you can see here that there is an energy of generosity and giving in this in this um, card um, with this person here, um, um, extending coin to the hands that are reaching out. Um, I do feel like there is a, an energy, this is an energy of, of generosity, of giving or participating um, in, in the act of um, being a community, being active um, in, in engaging in um, offering whatever we can give to the community around us in, in however way that's possible. Um, for example, if you are a person who is vulnerable in this, in this crisis, if you are vulnerable, um, if you are weakened some, in some way, or if you have a immunity that has been compromised in some way, if you have a, 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 an existing illness, um, it is best, um, in your, from my perspective, um, for, for your, um, health Help would be to stay safe, would be to stay indoors, would be to stay healthy, um, because our hospitals will be impacted by this. Um, so um, that is what, uh, if you are somebody who is older with, with a weakened immune system, um, that would be how you could help. Um, but there are way, other ways where people can help. If you have talents, if you have even extra money and make sure it's extra, make sure it's extra and not vital for you because this could go on for some time. And so it's good to make sure that you, you are protected. Remember, put your own mask on first. If you aren't going to survive this, then how can you help? How can you be of service? So it's important for you to survive with your health and with your well-being, right? So make sure that you have um, enough energy. Make sure you're eating um, healthy food. Make sure you are taking care of cleanliness and making sure that you wash your hands and um, be be aware of of your proximity to groups of people and such um, that kind of an energy um, but 
there are um, things that that each and every one have that are um, um, special gifts that we have that we can somehow engage um, with the community around us in, in some way. And so this is, again, an energy of generosity, of participation, of understanding how to allocate our resources, uh, making sure that we have money and savings, uh, making sure that we have energy to spare, making sure that we have enough food on hand. But again, it's a six, so it doesn't talk of a, of a, um, a, a mass accumulation. It talks, which which I, I am referring to, um, um the, the energy of balance and realizing what is necessary and what isn't necessary, what is rational and what isn't rational, um, and, and staying balanced as, as far as uh, our response to, to this, to this issue, but also then, um, being able to be, um, active in, in a way that suits us, in a way that's healthy for us, in a way that fits, um, for our, for our own individual um, situation. So I, I do feel like this is an engagement um, in, and each and every one of us can engage in our own special way um, it, it, that can help the situation. Um, so I, I really like to see the Six of Pentacles here, which talks about balance and harmony and um, understanding how we can fit into the world around us and how best we can do that. We do have the Three of Swords here, which talks about anxiety and stress. It talks about sadness. It talks about how um, the state of the conditions of our environment and what we experience can impact our thoughts, our beliefs. It can impact our heart. It can cause us to um, feel sadness or pain. It can cause us to go into a little bit of a gloom. Um, understand that we all, um, if we're find yourself in that energy. It is good to be in that energy and express that energy, to let it out, to um, share how we're feeling, um, to take a moment um, to cry, just like I feel like doing now. That's my expression in this reading. And when I get into this energy, um, it, it is an energy that can affect us um, many different ways. And I, um, I I, um, I've been to the grocery store twice and each time as I've been driving home, I've just felt like crying. And why do I feel like crying? There's no reason for me to, except for I understand that this is something that's new and there's anxiety around and people are stressed and people are worried. And I am somebody that can feel those energies and it does affect me. And I think many of you who are here today could be not only feeling your own energetic response, but you could be feeling the responses of many people. So if you feel like crying, if you feel like um, laying down and, and cuddling up um, under the covers and, and watching um, something comforting on TV or on an electronic device, go ahead and do that and, and allow those energies to come out. Um, it's, it's better to allow those energies to run through you than for you to harbor those inside you. Um, it is okay to express yourself and to and to feel sadness or to feel um, grief, even though your situation might be okay, because you can feel the pain of others. There are There is a world of empaths here. Many of us are emp empathic and we can feel that. So allow that to come out. That can help heal not only yourself, but it can help heal the world when you flow those energies through you. Um, so as we go into the three of wands here, another three energy, which talks about um, hope and inspiration and optimism, we do have the three of wands, which is hope and inspiration and optimism. Um, so um, where we could have some thoughts and um, pain here um, with the three of swords, we're going to have optimism and hope here with the three of wands. Um, this is a passionate energy. It, it talks about being... Um, 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 feeling like there is a better day to come. Um, and, and this is going to be something that helps revive everyone. Remember the three of wands is optimism. Um, it is hope. It is feeling um, the strength of understanding that the sun will rise again tomorrow, that there is a new dawn. There, there will be new discoveries and new progress made. And remember that the three of wands energy is an energy that is contagious. So why don't we think of the Three of Wands, our optimism, our enthusiasm, our belief, and our um, what we know in the core of us that 
um, with the law of attraction that the focus of our thoughts and the focus of our energy will help to revive not only our own energies, but the world energies. Um, let's consider our optimism to be a virus. Let's send out our optimism as a virus out into the world and let's spread it and let's create our own um um, what what is it a vaccine let's create an optimism vaccine that can go out and be spread from one person to another and let's see what we can do as far as energetic those of us who are um, energetic beings and we understand the power of energy and the power of optimism and positive thinking let's send out our own beautiful virus and um, use it as a vaccine and 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 um, work to counteract some of these anxiety energies that we feel here now we also have the magician energy. Um, this is an energy of um, working hard. Um, it's an energy of inventiveness, of thinking out of the box, of understanding that this is a time now to consider differently our worlds, um, whether it is um, people who are with weakened immunities that are around us, people with weakened finances that are around us, people with interesting ideas and abilities and talents that maybe have been um, on the back shelf for a while. It's time now for people and all of us to get out our gloves, put our gloves on, put our hard hats on and step out and begin to invent now in our lives in a different way than maybe we did just a month ago or three months ago or however we began to be um, infected with this situation. Um, so the magician energy is an energy of reinventing ourselves. It's an energy of inventing something new. Um, it's an energy of co-creating. And um, it's important here to remember that we say co-creating um, because most of us here believe there is something else that is invisible that can help us do this. Um, a greater power here um, that is um, that is a part of this story. So um, I think that with this magician energy, this inventiveness and putting on um, different hats here and, and stepping out in a new way, along with this optimism, um, working on healing now, um, understanding how to pass that energy through us and how to bring the energy um, of the environment around us from within ourselves, the environment around us and the world at large up just a little bit as we process that energy out and let it go into the earth to be recycled, um, and this energy of charity and of um, understanding how each and every one of us have our own role and our own way that we can help the situation just one little bit makes a world of difference when we are all walking forward in that way. It can really change the trajectory. So um, I, I do feel like... Um, there, there is a, there is a better day ahead. And when we step forward together, we can, we can make a big difference in the world. When we look at the number of people on this channel and the number of people on other channels where there are messages of hope and, um, messages of inspiration coming forward, um, if we all band together in our own special way, um, what a, um, what a radical, beautiful, impactful change we can make in the world around us, especially when we're healthy in mind, body, um, and, and within our soul. All right. So let's go ahead and look at, um, love. Let's look at love now and see what we can get with love. Sorry. I have to make sure I keep myself on track with these three different areas. All right. Now we're looking at love. Looking at love here. Focusing in on love. Focusing in on love now. See what love is, what's happening in love. Now this could be with family, with friends, or maybe a romance if that's um, applying to you. Let's see what's here. We have the chariot with the six of wands, the king of pentacles, and the ace of wands. The chariot is a cancer energy. King of pentacles is a strong, masculine, grounded energy. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. 
We have something new here, new action, new excitement, taking, stepping forward in a new way. Well, I mean, this is a revival. This is a revival of the emotional center within you, within your community, and within, this is a revival of everything. This is a universal revival. Goodness. We have the chariot energy. We have the six of wands. We have the king of pentacles and the ace of wands. I mean, um, powerful energies here. I, I see that it feels like the human soul and the heart center is, is coming alive in, in a new way. We have the chariot energy, which is an energy of balance and alignment. So when we're talking about love, there's, there's love moving forward. However, it, whatever it means to you, there was, there is forward movement of love. Um, so whatever your situation is, I, I find, I feel like as we move into the future, there is a, there is a settling, there is a more, um, peaceful alignment within oneself. Um, there could be realizations here about what, um, your situation means to you, how it impacts you and how you can move forward, um, in a really balanced way where you're not giving too much of yourself, but you're still giving of yourself. Um, you're still participating in this game. Um, you're still having an act or, or a part in this play, um, but you're doing it in a way that, that could be um, where you're really self-sustaining, um, where you're able to do this maybe for the long haul if you need to. So you're not wearing yourself out here because this is an energy of balance, but it's an energy of balance and moving forward. So um, it looks like this group is going to be, is going to be engaging in love and, um, with family, friends, or romance, um, and without hesitation. Um, now we know that sometimes uh, as this chariot gets going here, um, when the chariot is stopping and the horses begin to move, that there could be a little bit of a, of a little bit of a jolt. And sometimes the horses have to kind of get into step with each other. So it might take you a week or two, or, um, it might take you a little bit of time to figure out where you fit in this and what you, how you're going to respond and what you're going to do and how you're going to move forward. Um, but I see you here stepping out here in, uh, in a, in a, in a way that's almost a, a different version of yourself or an improved version or a new leveling of yourself. Something here that you're doing, you're, you're saying, you're saying, Hey, my hands up, pick me. I know how to do this. I've done this before. I know how to do this. I'm willing to step forward now. I, I have the abilities. I have this passion within me. This is something that inspires me. This is something that I have passion for. This is something that I know how to do. I can lead in this. I can lead in this in my life. I can lead in this with my family. I can lead in this with my community or however it fits with you. This is a role. This is an energy of passion, of moving forward, of taking up that flag and saying, I'm going to lead this. If it, whether, whether it is again within yourself, you're going to be doing something different. You're going to be a, your own leader in your own life and, and not, um, and, and realize that, uh, that you have control of things in your own way. This is stepping forward or this is doing something here um, where you're saying, you know what, I can help in this way. I would like to do that. And I feel very inspired to do this. Remember with the six of wands is something here that you feel very passionate about. So it's not just anything. The six of wands is something that maybe there is, a, there is um, a, a lot you could be doing in the next month. There are a lot of things that you know how to do. Maybe you know how to work with money. Maybe you know how to work with animals. Maybe you know how to work with people. Maybe you know how to do all kinds of things. But what is it? What is there that really pulls to you? What really pulls to you? What What is something that you could do day in and day out for three weeks? Because this is what our doctors and nurses are doing. This is what our emergency people are doing. They're doing something that has pulled at them. And I think um, this is a group of people who are going to be in this energy. And it's important when you're in this kind of energy to do something that really pulls at you because you could become tired. And it's something that at the end of the day, you lay in bed and you say, you know what? I feel complete. My bones are, my, my body is, is weary. My bones are tired. My brain is numb, but I feel good. And I'm going to get up in six hours and I'm going to step forward and I'm going to do it again. And I know this is a radical. I'm being really extreme right now. Um, uh, but these are big energies. So please, um, it doesn't have to be like that. It can just be something much more minor. I'm just getting carried away in this whole, you know me, I'll get carried away. 
Um, but it's that kind of an energy. And I think it's important to realize um, that when we step forward in a new way, we're most effective when we do it in an area that really um, is, is a strong urging from, from the abdomen. Um, it's not something really that comes from the mind. It's not something always that's rational. It's something that comes from within us where we don't even know why. Um, and, and I'm thinking now in my own mind, what would that be for me? I'm going to have to think about that. What is that for me? What is that for you? What is that for this group of Libras? What is it? So uh, there's something here that you're stepping forward. This group is stepping forward in a way that that is um, something that you almost feel like you have no other choice but to step forward in that way. And it's going to be something small. It can be something big. It just depends on what your situation is. And, and, and however you step forward, that is meant to be. It's meant to be exactly as it is. So um, I, I see this group of people um, doing this in, in a very individual way, and, and each way will be different from the other. We have the King of Pentacles here, and the King of Pentacles is a very solid energy. It's an energy of looking over the whole situation, all of your resources, all of the big picture. Um, this is a, um, a president looking over the country and thinking in a big way how to make big decisions. This is you as an, as a, as the head of a family looking over the family and making, um, decisions in, in an overarching way. Um, not looking at the little details, but looking at the bigger picture of things and making decisions and working um, now to um, find out what tr what truly is important. The King of Pentacles is able to prioritize um, what is important here in the bigger picture of things. Um, is it is it money? Is it working more? Is it um, taking some time now to care for people that are in your family that need care? Every one of us, every different Libra person that's here that's resonating is going to feel differently about this, and it's going to impact them differently. But this is looking at the big picture, being grounded, not making fast decisions, but making careful decisions, because the King of Pentacles is a slow mover, right? Sleep on it a couple days. Write it down. What are some different things here that could affect you, and how could you make the best decisions about the overall picture of your wealth and your stability in your life? And after a few days and after a few charts, I, I think that just like the King of Pentacles, imagine you're the King of Pentacles, and what does the King of Pentacles do? He, he looks at the data. He looks at the numbers. He looks at the past. He looks at the forecast. He looks at what he knows, and he creates charts and graphs and he is very careful and when he makes a decision um, I think that he has found evidence of the best decision to be made so um, this is not the king of wands or the king of swords or the king of cups it's the king of pentacles and the king of pentacles is very much concerned about the overall picture about stability and about making careful decisions um, and moving forward in a stable way into the future. So while there's this emotion here that pulls you forward into something that you feel um, really lights your heart on fire and inspires you and moves and moves you forward down the road um, in, into this path, and whether it and even though you have this passion of stepping forward and doing this and this is what my calling is right now. This is why I'm meant to be here right now. And I'm going to step forward into this. There is an energy here that you have of, of um, doing this in a balanced way. This is about balance here. Um, we have earth, we have fire, and we have water here. So this is being balanced and making decisions and maybe taking a little bit of time. The king of pentacles uh, can't be pushed, right? The king of pentacles will ignore that kind of energy and say, you know what? I need to make, make decisions that are the best for my kingdom, whether it's a small little house in the country, whether it is um, uh, um, a, a, a big company that this King of Pentacles is running, or maybe it's a leader um, of a country. Um, but there are things, there are complications here, and there are elements of this that um, you may find as you move through the day. So the first day you might think of some things and as you sleep through the night and the next morning, you might think of some other aspects of this that you might jot down too. So sometimes it takes a series of days to really kind of um, 
um, create a full picture of what's important to you and all the dynamic pieces therein so you can make decisions as you move forward. Um, remember, the King of Pentacles does take care of his home, his family, his community. He takes care. He maintains. He, he nurtures it in his own way. Um, and, and that way is to create stability and abundance and to um, make sure that everything is moving s smoothly ahead um, and that there isn't too much loss or there isn't too much instability in, in our in, in his life. Um, and then we're moving to the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, and the Ace of Pentacles is um, all about passion. It's about doing something different. So if this is about love, um, and, and this is a focus of love here, um, you could be going through um, a, a situation, whether it's a romance or whether it's um, a new friendship or whether it's just working with family, um, that you are um, stepping forward in a new way. You're you're not backing down. You're moving forward. You're taking this on. Um you're, you're accepting the risk of it, but, but you're not losing track of what brings in stability for yourself here. That said, there is excitement, there is chemistry, there is new beginnings here. There, there's a lot of, um, different ways that you're being now, this group of Libra, you, the Libras, you're taking action in a new way. You might feel completely different about your situation now, or you might be saying different things, or you might moving for, be moving forward in it in a different way than you thought you would be. The world around us has, has changed and it, it will impact the way our behavior is and the way we take action as we move forward in the future. So there could be new, elements of this that's begin to crop up within you. You might um, be feeling much more passionate than you felt before. Um, if you have um, somebody that you're seeing, you might feel much more passion for that person. Or if you have a family, you might be feeling much more passionate about your family now. This is an energy of new passion, a remembrance of passion, a revitalization of passion here with the Ace of Wands. So this is a this is an overall energy no matter if this is family friends romance or even yourself there is a um a movement forward a no lack of movement forward there is passion here stability and um new and new actions um new new actions and new behaviors here for this group of people beautiful all right, so I am going to now move to the extended. In the extended reading, we're going to look at the people who are around you, and then we'll take each one of these areas and we'll take it one more step forward um, into the next few months and see what we can pull out of this. All right, my friends, um, I am going to move the, to the extended. Thank you for putting up with this energy that I am in. Um, it's it's a, um, kind of a, I don't know, an excited, energetic um, voice I know that I'm in today. So thank you for putting up with that. I hope this was helpful and I wish all of you the very best. Thank you.